Hello class, hello students, hello parents and visitors. It's so good to have you here to participate in our channel and visiting our channel. Today, we're going to learn how to make this adorable little Cupid. And uh, it is a really simple project. And all we're going to need is some pipe cleaners, any colors. I like red for Valentine's Day or pink, pretty pink. They have these metallic pinks too. You can use some googly eyes, a little bit of googly eyes, some yarn, different colored yarn. And this was a glitter sticker heart for the wings and a little bit of waft of uh, yarn. There was a piece of uh, cut up yarn like this and frayed. It was red. It was a softer yarn. Okay, for the hair. This heart is a little decoration. It came in a pack of the different sizes of hearts that he's holding. And that is optional, of course. Children don't have it, he can hold a piece of candy, like the one with the Valentine saying, hug me, things like that. That would be really nice. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so the secret ingredient for this cute little face is, what do you think it is? It's a, uh, Shipping peanut, <laughs> it is to protect anything that you buy and it comes free in the shipping containers. So if you see these, don't throw them away, especially if you have children that would like to make little crafts with them. Other than making little dolls like this one, you can also build projects. These are really nice to connect with toothpicks and build sculptures as well. They're very soft to touch. And I find that they're really good for dry eraser boards too. So my kindergartners are learning how to write and draw at the same time. So they kept erasing with these peanuts. Okay. So number one, let's make space. Number two, we're gonna make a body structure first. So you're gonna need two pipe cleaners. Fold them over so that you have two equal halves like this. Okay, at this time, when you have it bent over, one at a time, cut it. One, two, and for younger grades, if you need help, please raise your hand if it's too hard for you to cut, to get help. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make, make a simple form, one for where the head is gonna fit, and two arms and two legs out of these four. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we have one, two, three, four. Put it on a white paper so you can see a little better. We had four, uh, we had two pipe cleaners, now we have four equal size. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to fold it in half again. Equally, you see how the ends meet so that this size is the same and symmetrical to the other side. And now, we're gonna connect them like this. 
So we're going to loop them, making an X. So you make, made a V. See, put one V on top of the other. Now we're going to make an X like this. Okay. Now we're going to Now we're going to make the arms of this X a little shorter. This is one way to do it. You could loop it and make a insertion for the head and loop it to the other side like that which will give us a little shorter guy or we can use the extra string and add on to the armature make it more sturdy so what i did here again so let me show you slowly one more time and I know there is a feature on YouTube, slow down the video, so you can do that too. Okay, so we started with the X just like this. And all I did was to create a 3D form of a figure like this. I looped it and made an X out of two Vs. And then because I want the arms shorter than the legs, I made one arch, arm shorter, looped it around, gave it a little neck, like a little loop. You can pretend it's a head for now. I loop it to the other side. I can do it twice or just once is enough. That's going to hold it in place. And then once I have it like this, all I have to do is squish this straight up. The other way, and I'll use a different color, is to use an extra strength, keep the arms the way they are, and just get the neck a little longer and tie it over in the middle and made the torso a little longer with that extra piece of pipe cleaner. This way, I'm showing you a different way, whichever is easier for you to do, they both work. This one is going to be a little shorter, but they both work very well. Okay? So, next step, is going to be to take sharp scissors. Do not use the round ones. It's not going to do such a good job. But for young children, you can help them. It still works. If you don't want them to use the sharp scissors, they can. But this would make a nicer, more neat hole, the pointy ones. You're going to feed that pipe cleaner inside all the way so it stays and it's nice and secure. Let's do it again with this one. I'm going to pick a pink face this time since I already used the green one. Maybe I'll use a blue and green. Actually, pink one and blue one. So I'll take the green one off because we already have a green friend right here. That's going to allow me to do it again. So, I'm going to make a hole carefully. It does work with this one too. Just be careful not to completely cut it. It's kind of wider. Fit it inside. And you can leave a little out. It's going to help you tuck in some of your extra yarn. If you want to give a little fluff, a little feather in there, that's fine too. Or you can give him a little neck. It's pretty secure. It won't, will not fall out. I'll make a blue one. They're going to be friends. 
Now I have a simple sculpture. I'm gonna make three. I'm gonna make a yellow one too, just to show you how easy it is and how quick it is to do. There we go. We've got a whole family now of cupids. All right, now I'm just gonna take a little bit of yarn and fluffy yarn is the best. If it's a little, it has more body, that's better. It's gonna give your doll, your sculpture a little more body, but uh, any, any yarn will work. For example, this one. And I'll show you very simple technique. So I'm gonna start at the neck and I'm crossing the body and I'm gonna go across. But if you just wanna go around, that's fine too. Just don't put too much pressure so that the head doesn't fall off. I like to go crisscross, see, crisscross. And just like that, I gave it a little bit of body. Now you can take these two together and keep winding around. One leg. And I didn't even do legs in this one. I just did the body for simplicity. So you don't need to, with the younger girls especially, it's not necessary to do the legs, but you could. You could finish that up and tie it off. So let's just keep it simple. I'm just gonna go across. So I'm doing crisscross like this. Give it a little bit body segment there and I made it too short and I'm glad I made this mistake because I want you to not make it this short because your little hands um, they might be able to still tie a nice knot but for me it's already hard so leave enough strength to tie a knot I'll tie a knot twice I did one I'm crossing, I'm crossing the two ends, kids and parents and teachers. I'm crossing the two ends and fitting into the loop. Tie a knot. I'm going to cut off the remaining yarn. This one is nice and simple. With this one, it was more fluffier, had more body. I went a little bit across the arms and you can double it up. I'll show you. It um, really works well. You can start for all the grades. You can show them, make a loop and this will tie it securely. If you fit it through, it will tie a nice little loop here. And then you can go, see it's coming off just a little and add another layer. I'm going across and you can tie it. And like I said, you could do two colors. You can just do one color or just keep wrapping until you get the body that you like. It's like giving a, a little bit of a clothing. And you can also just tuck, tuck it in there like underneath the head. It might fall off, but you can also put a little bit of glue and it will hold better for future when you're done with it. You can even put the end of what, if you didn't tie it, put the end and feed it into the loop with some glue and that will secure it in place so it won't come off. Now we have a little t-shirt and a little pants, a little body. Now we're ready for the eyes, which is the easiest part. Get some eyes out. I'm going to need six because I'm making six. We're going to use a little bit of glue stick. Oh, 
this when he's done. And we are lucky in this one. You can put a glue stick directly on the back or you can put a glue stick directly on the peanut or both. You can also push it just a little bit so it stays. And it also creates an, an interesting sculptural design. Like sculpt the indentation in. Of course, you're gonna have to let it dry, so don't play with it right away because then um, the eyes will fall off, so let them dry. You're gonna use a marker or a pencil. Let's use a simple pencil first. You can make, make him smile. You can do a different color than a black. You can do red or yellow. <laughs> this is already funny. Another idea is take a piece of string. Left over, cut it, and then take your scissors and push it in there with a little bit of glue. It will stay. Should make it another interesting way. Pretty cool, right? I just made a simple line with a marker here to compare. Okay, the next part is to do the hair. And for the hair, the best way is to take a piece of string and fray it. Fraying means pull all the threads apart. You can use a pencil too and just run your pencil through the threads, individual threads, until you get a really natural hair looking composition. A really nice easy way is also to do it this way. With scissors. Okay, then you're gonna cut it and You can take the head off and push it in. And this look like a ponytail. This looks like a girl. You can also use pencil. Yeah, you can do two. Let's do two for this one. Where's my leftover? I just had it. Okay, so I found my string and then we are just gonna fray it again. You can do a pencil or you can do scissors or you can just do your hands. I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to put the two ponytails. Let's put some glue so it stays. It's optional though. You don't have to. Okay. Put a little glue here. That part is also optional. Okay. 
great. I can fold my Cupid girl's hands across her chest. She can be holding her heart like so. You can fold her little legs and get your sticker. Cut it in half. Remove the backing. Stick it on her back. Ta -da. Now we got two fronts. Isn't are they cute? And so a few more variations to our project for these two guys I wanted to show you is when you have feathers, you can also cut a section off. It makes really nice and fluffy hair. You can just directly insert it. Look how soft and fluffy that is. Okay. And same way, we're going to put some eyes. Push nice and hard. So in this variation, we're going to use a small piece of felt. Or if you have like a flower for our dress, could be a fl flower from a leftover that you don't need anymore for a little dress. A skirt. They already come, I think they come pre. They have little holes in them. If not, they can make a hole. This one, I wouldn't let the children do it alone because they might cut themselves. So they might need a help here cutting the hole. I just cut the section off. And I can put a little flower girl like that. Give her a little skirt. There. And maybe, maybe a little bit of felt. Got a red felt. A pretty pink felt. Okay. So use your leftover felt. You can cut a little string. Like so. And then just wrap it around. I usually go across. Like so. So I wrap it like so. Covering those areas. I could glue it. But mainly what I recommend is putting string over it to hold it down like we did previously. You're just not going to need that much string this time. It's going to be a little easier. You can just Tie a couple of times or until you like it. Remember, you don't need to tie a knot. You can wrap the string around the neck all the way up like that. Put a little glue instead of tying a knot and put it on the head and that will secure it in place. So that's another variation. You can cross your girl's hands. Give her a little heart to hold or not. If you don't have it, that's fine. 
You can cut a piece of fowl too, or a mouth, and use your pencil or scissors to push it in. Oopsie, that one is kind of funny. I don't know if I damaged it too much. I guess don't do it too hard because her face is gonna deform. Let's just glue it on. There you go. Looks like she's wearing lipstick. Okay. She's funny looking. Okay, but I like her. So we've got, you can give her wings too, or keep her like that. If you don't have stickers, see she looks just fine that way. I'm gonna give her a big heart to hold. Like so. Yay. All right. I can add these to my wreath if I made them with children, my Valentine's Day wreath. And um, have fun with making more. Now is your turn.